It's been one full year since I bought my first NFT. My first mint was this Great Ape Society NFT, which are somehow still barely alive. Whether you love or hate NFTs, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on everything I've learned in one full year of trading JPEGs. You're still early. Traditionally, that has had a positive connotation associated with it, but I think there's a fair argument to be made that we are so early that it's actually too early to really get involved. The truth is, the rewards in NFTs are absolutely massive, but so is the risk. Your investment in some high profile JPEGs could go to the moon or to the grave equally as fast. Just like other altcoins or penny stocks or option calls, it's very difficult to pick which NFTs and what timing to make those killer gains. In 2022 alone, we've watched projects go sky high and plummet shortly thereafter. Look at things like Mechaverse, Hate Beast, Invisible Friends, Azuki, Mutant Apes, Cool Cats, World of Women, Neo Tokyo. Many of these are considered blue chip NFTs, but the price action has absolutely nothing blue chip about them. These are insanely volatile assets because we are so early and there are so few active traders compared to pretty much any other market. Lesson number two, 98% of projects are going to zero. And to be honest with you, I've watched most of my NFTs already do it. In my six month recap video, Video, I talked about a handful of projects that already went to zero in just six months after I bought them. Spoiler alert, that trend did not change at all. In fact, there are even more of my NFTs, or ones that I bought previously, that are closer to zero than where I bought them. About three months ago, I put out an alert in my private membership group letting everyone know that I was trying to sell pretty much all of the NFTs that I had in my collection for basically any price I could get them for because I thought most of them would completely die in this upcoming bear market. And three months later, I am absolutely thrilled that I did what I did because almost all the ones that I've sold have dropped 80% or more in value since that point. If you want to get access to all of my buy and sell alerts and the alpha we have going on and whitelists and all kinds of other fun stuff, hit the link in the description down below or this card right up here. That'll bring you over to our Patreon. It is by far the cheapest membership group that exists out there right now. And some of the calls from our analyst callers for crypto and for NFTs and myself included with my buys and sells has been on the money and honestly saved some people from some huge events like Celsius going down. I actually called that I was pulling all my money out of Celsius before it went bankrupt and canceled all of the withdrawals. So if you want that kind of information, definitely check out the link. But back to what I was saying before, I am super glad that I sold as many NFTs as I could, even some of them at huge losses just to get back what capital I could. And like I said, many of those are down 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and sometimes even 85% since I sold them. Some of them aren't down that much, but they are fully illiquid, meaning that nobody wants to buy them, so they're pretty much worth zero. Even the best of the best aren't going to retain those insane valuations that we saw in January of this year. Lesson number three, and this is a prediction. This is basically taking the information that I've learned in the past year and extrapolating it for the next six months. After being heavily involved for 365 days in the NFT space, I feel confident that the rest of 2022 is going to continue to be as dry as a cactus. Volume is currently at a 52 week low and I don't see anything that pulls us back into higher volume anytime soon. Crypto on the other hand has been on a very respectable relief rally with Ethereum seeing over a 2x return in about 50 days. And yet NFTs have not even seen the tiniest little blip in volume increase. They've stayed completely flatlined at a dead cactus pace. In fact, over the last three months, the blue chip NFT index is down over 30%. I expect we see another 40 to 50% drop in floor prices before we see the bottom for NFTs. Why you might ask? Well, volume is still stagnant and the NFT traders in this space are the most impatient people that I've ever seen. Everyone who is still here is here for pretty much one reason only, make money at any cost. And ultimately, everyone investing in NFTs at any point has at least one mutual goal, and that's also to make money. You are more or less competing against everyone else in the space at all times to try and earn that money. After all, at the end of the day, the common denominator of most NFT investors is to stack Ethereum. You do that by buying low and selling high. And this sounds obvious, but I think many people get caught up in the day to day and lose sight of the overall picture. What happens when everyone is trying to flip the same projects at the same time? 
that is exactly the recipe for market demand dying out. It's exactly what we're seeing right now. Greed pushed us into a decline and even a free mint meta can't save that doggy dog mentality now. You're seeing free mint projects not even mint out because there's so much flip behavior going on that they can't even get started. You also have to realize that now compared to a year ago when I started investing, the NFT investors in this space have way more experience, way more access to information and way more access to pretty much everything they need in terms of tools and data and whatever else than they did a year ago. And that brings me to lesson number four. The technology of NFTs is truly groundbreaking. While I think this space is early and it's completely filled with scams and rug pulls and mostly comprised of money hungry traders at the moment, I do think there is a ton of innovation happening right now with some really intelligent founders and creators and pioneers. This technology has every means to completely change industries across the globe. And this is the first step to making that happen. We have to endure the wild west chaos that is NFTs right now to get the attention of people who find amazing ways to use the technology behind it all. Consider this year and maybe even up to the next three years, the trial and error phase. Let's try, let's fail and learn from each other's mistakes so that we can advance this space forward. I do believe that if we have the commitment it takes to stick through these questionable times, we will be rewarded in the long run maybe rewarded with some wealth, but certainly with knowledge and relationships. And so far from what I've seen, knowledge and relationships are just as good, if not better than money. For those of you who have been in the NFT space under a year, over a year, whatever, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are, what your lessons learned are, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.